One of the biggest parts of bidding is knowing when you do need to or don't need to change out your bit. So the best way to determine uh, whether or not your horse needs a new bit is to pay attention to how your horse reacts to your rein action and your rein pressure. If you use a nose band, take off the nose band. If you're using a tie down, take off the tie down. Um, go out for one of your normal riding sessions, preferably in an arena. If you're using any kind of tools like a tie down or martingale to keep your horse contained and you want to ride without it to get a good idea of how the bit's working or not working, then make sure you do it in a safe environment that's enclosed so your horse is contained without his martingale or tie down on. And then just start putting him through his paces and, and see how he reacts when you engage the rein. If your horse is experiencing too much tongue pressure, what you will see are bit, is bit resistance. And there are a couple different signs of bit resistance. So one is sticking his nose up in the air. We call that inverting. So his nose goes above the vertical whenever you engage the reins. The other is putting his nose behind the, the vertical or going behind the bit, tucking his nose to his chest, uh, opening his mouth. So when a horse gapes, um, he's basically dropping his jaw behind the vertical and that's relieving the tongue pressure and running through the bit or getting really heavy uh, on the bit are also signs that your horse is having a hard time with the tongue pressure and uh, sticking his tongue out of his mouth is a fairly obvious sign that horses can give you that they're they're experiencing discomfort in their mouths the reason we want you to take a nose band or cavison off is because with that on their mouths are strapped shut and they can't really give you a good idea of how they're feeling with the bit in their mouth if you think your horse is experiencing bit resistance, look for that behavior repeated frequently and routinely when the harder he works or uh, every time you engage the reins. A horse that n inverts once in a while or a horse that's fussing because all of his uh, trail buddies left him on the trail may not be exactly experiencing bit resistance. It may be more of a behavior issue or a training issue. So you want to see the behavior repeated and you want to um, see that it's a routine expectation on your part and when I touch the reins this is what's going to happen and then that's probably a sure a sure sign that he's got um, some kind of bit resistance going on